welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Barbie I'm going to show you what I got at Costco for the upcoming week this week I'm going to do things a little different today is Friday when I'm filming this and I went to Costco as soon as I got out of work I want to go ahead and film this and put it out because I'm taking forever to put out the videos for my grocery hauls when I'm trying to edit everything into one video so this week I'm going to try things a little different I'm going to go ahead and film this and hopefully upload this Costco haul by tomorrow, Saturday. Um, so I'm going to flip you guys around and show you what Here's I got. An overview of my Costco haul for this week. When I started shopping, I was like, okay, I didn't get many things. I didn't need a whole lot. So this is going to be like a very inexpensive haul. Well, I still managed to spend $122 and some change. Um, but that's the way it is at Costco. So I got some pork loins and these were only $12.80 um, for 4 pounds, 4.7 pounds and they had a sale going on where they were taking $3 off the total price. So this was a great deal. So I ended up paying $9.80 for almost 5 pounds. Um, I will get two meals out of this. I'll trim off all that fat and divide it in two meals. Um, so got that uh this was on sale also i got the picante it's medium it's gluten free and i love salsa you guys know i eat salsa with my eggs every single day and i also um for the salsa chicken that i make in the slow cooker so i always like to have this and this was only 3.99 for both of them so um even though i didn't need it right away i wanted to go ahead and pick it up and put it in my pantry these are so good and i opened it on my way back because i went to the costco that's by my work so i still had about an hour drive after i left costco so i was hungry and these are so 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 good these are coconut clusters they're organic non-gmo and it has super seeds um pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds and chia seeds they're just so so good better than a candy and they're sweet and it's got healthy fats for you and it's 160 calories for half a cup or if you like to measure i like to no oh, if you like to weigh i like to weigh my foods because i feel like i get more and i get more exact servings which is 30 grams for 160 but you're getting a lot of good stuff from from all those seeds so super good I got a container of our usual Faye Total non-fat Greek yogurt. We love this stuff and we usually go through about a one and a half a week of this. The ones that eat this is Diego and me are the ones who eat these, um, to, to eat, who eat this, I can't talk, um, the yogurt. Um, I don't think the kids eat any, any of the kids, I don't think they eat the yogurt. Um, got a watermelon and Diego is going to be very happy because last week I didn't find watermelon at the Costco that's close by my house. He absolutely loves watermelon and I told him, I'm sorry, babe, but I think watermelon season is over. But I found this watermelon at the other Costco. I did notice that it's up in price. It was $6 or $5.99 and they only had a small amount. So I know they're probably almost out of watermelons but until you know if i see it i'll keep buying it for him because he loves watermelon i got a pack of this um adele's bacon mushroom and swiss smoked chicken sausage this thing is so so good and this flavor was on sale um this is originally all the adele's um sausages are 13.99 at costco this um flavor was on sale was three dollars off so it was ten dollars and some i think it was like 10.49 so it must have been more than three dollars off um so i went ahead and picked up one even though i didn't need it because we still have from last time i picked them up i went ahead and picked up another one and i'll just freeze it and this is gluten free it's delicious i love love mushroom mushroom anything i love cheese so what i do what i did last time i i ate this i actually had it for breakfast and i sliced it up and i put it in my air fryer for like seven minutes or something like that i let it crisp up and it was so good um i'm pretty sure it's a little high in calories yeah 190 calories for one link you can have half a half a link and still get a good portion 
or you can eat the whole thing. Let me see how many grams of protein. You're getting 15 grams of protein in one link, so that'll keep you full for a while. Um, I also got some gluten-free bread. Um, this is the second time I buy this. It's lasted Yaya a while. Um, so I find that Costco has the best um, price for gluten-free bread. It's $8.99 for two loaves. And she, she likes it. She says it tastes really good. Got a bag of our my favorite chicken, which is a chicken breast that comes individually wrapped. I know I say that every time I buy this. Um, it's $16.99, and this brings 6.5 pounds, and I love it because I can just take out whatever I'm going to need. Usually two or three breasts um, per meal, depending if what I'm cooking. Um, and yeah, no mess when you thaw it out because it's individually wrapped, so I love it. Picked up some organic squash. Um, it's a mix of the yellow squash and the zucchini. Um, love them. Um, Yaya's been on a squash kick lately, prepping for herself. So I don't know if she's going to prep this week. But last weekend I didn't pick up any. So I went ahead and picked up this week. Either she'll use it or I'll use it for sides throughout next week. Picked up a bag of Skinny Pop popcorn, organic. It's 39 calories per cup, non-GMO, no artificial ingredients, gluten-free. And this popcorn is addicting. It is so, so, so good. Delicious. I don't know how they pop it, but it is absolutely delicious. Um, I think it's five points on freestyle per serving um, or it's 150 calories for three and three quarters cup or 28 grams but it is super super good and it's still on sale i think the sale goes through next weekend it's 3.99 for this huge bag another thing i picked up is some of this lucky charms it's a double box um, and it's gluten free and i think that these cereal, I at least I saw that on social media, um, that the gluten-free, like the, the cereal, the Cheerios, and I'm pretty sure Lucky Charms too because they're um, from by General Mills. It's gluten-free and it's okay for people with gluten intolerance, like Yaya, who has um, non-celiac non gluten sensitivity. But if, if for celiac people, it's not safe to eat. That's what I've read. If you know different... Please um, let me know in the comments. But um, since she's not celiac, she can eat that. Um, this cereal, although she's not a cereal eater, I'm the one eating it. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about um, me because I'm going gluten-free as well. Um, I'll talk about that in another video with my reasons why. But I do love cereal and sometimes in the weekends I usually have cereal and this one I love Lucky Charms and it doesn't bloat me like all the other cereals do. So I love it and I'm so happy that it's gluten free because Lucky Charms is one of my favorite cereals. Another thing that I bought and I didn't really need it right away, but not all the Costco's carry the same um, cheese. Some carry just the regular ones. That one had the light. I'm not 100% sure if the Costco I usually go to has the light. This was on sale and I believe this was like five five something and it brings four usually i think at trader joe's or even at target one thing of this is like two something so five five something for four of them i had to get it even though i don't need it right away and the expiration date is not it's good until may of 2020 so i'm pretty sure from here until next year in may we're gonna go through that and this is only one point on freestyle or um, 50 calories if you count your calories. I'm going to leave this for last. Um, I also picked this car for, um, air freshener for Breeze. And this was another good buy. I believe this was like $6.99 and it brings um, five of them. If you buy these like at Target, which is where I usually buy them, two of them are like $5.00. So five of them for $6.99, that was a great deal. So I love, and this is my favorite scent, the Hawaiian one. Picked up some eggs. I've noticed that I usually will pick up the five dozen egg and then the following week I'll pick up like a filler um, to, you know, count. This one is 
24 eggs, so two dozen. So probably by next weekend, I'll end up picking up the bigger one. But um, yeah, so I picked this up. And lastly, I picked up, seems like all, I'm running out of all my supplements at the same time. Last weekend, I got the B12. Today, I picked up the vitamin D3. This is 5,000 units, and I know it's probably, it seems high, but I've been taking D3 for about three years now, and here's the background story to that. Um, when I moved here in 2015, here to California from Texas in the Houston area, um, like a few months after being here, maybe six months into being here, I started feeling like tired i was tired all the time i felt like fatigued like my legs like around my calves they felt tight but i was not retaining fluid but they just felt tight like tired so i went to the doctor i had a physical done and i mentioned that to the doctor and she had blood work done and it came out that um my vitamin d was my d3 was low based on my symptoms she wanted to check that and it turns out that people um, who live in California, I'm pretty sure that maybe other places where it, it's cold all the time. Um, but here in California, she meant, she said this, I didn't make this up. She told me that a study showed that a lot of people here in California have vitamin D3 deficiency because it's cold all the time. I'm always wearing like most of the days I wear long sleeves every day. Every time I go out, I bring a sweater with me. Um, I'm hardly ever in the sun, so people just have low vitamin D3 because of that. So she recommended to just, she put me on a way higher um, dose than this at first, ju just to bring it up. And then after that, she just said to continue taking it. So I think they retested it the following year and it was, it was fine, but it doesn't hurt. And just to keep it where it needs to be, I continue to take it. So that's my story on this. And um this is expensive this was like 17 dollars, but it's it brings 400 um soft gels so it's gonna last me over a year so it's it's worth the buy but that's a big chunk of my spending today so there you have it that's my costco ha haul for the upcoming week and stay tuned because I will go to probably Target and Trader Joe's and we'll be putting those videos up next. Thank you for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Hello.